As you walk through an Illinois forest, you get a sense that this is a world of its own. The forest can be a world of adventure and discovery, a place of work or relaxation, a source of income and health. The forest may even be your primary means for survival if you happen to be one of the hundreds of wildlife species that use and depend on our forests for food and shelter. Illinois forests are a dynamic, ever-changing ecosystem that includes towering trees to the most delicate woodland flower and a multitude of diversity and life in between. Let's focus on that in between or best described as the understory. The understory is as dynamic as it is diverse. The understory of a forest includes everything beneath the canopy which is formed by the tops or the crowns of the larger trees. A healthy and diverse understory is composed of several structural layers that can be very distinct plant communities including tree species, shrubs, herbaceous plants, and mosses and lichens. The ability of the forest to sustain itself ecologically and provide for society's needs is what defines a healthy and sustainable forest. Forests provide a full suite of goods and services that are vital to human health and livelihood. Clean water, clean air, recreation, and aesthetics. Once you think about it, these forests play a major role in our lives. They provide us with things like building materials, paper products, furniture, and are used in over 5,000 other products we use each and every day. And that's just the beginning. Healthy trees and forests in urban areas contribute to our air and water quality, watershed function, energy conservation, and even social well-being. Trees provide breaks from the cold wintry winds and can block noise, too. In both urban and rural areas, trees help control soil erosion and improve water quality. The soil is protected by the tree's deep root systems along with the smaller understory plants which hold our soils in place. Since sediment in our waterways is a common source of water pollution, protecting the banks of rivers and streams against erosion in turn improves our water quality. The soil is replenished as leaves decompose, turning into organic matter and completing the nutrient cycle. The canopy and understory provides food and shelter for 75% of our wildlife species, such as white-tailed deer, squirrels, turkey, red fox, and several bird species. Today, less than 12% of Illinois' native forests remain. While most of the original forests in Illinois were cleared for agriculture, fuel wood, fence posts, transportation, and urban and industrial development, Maintaining the balance between forest sustainability and production of goods and services is a challenge for owners and managers of our forests. Through education and valuable state and federal programs, Illinois has seen a steady increase of forest land over the past 60 years. In order to continue on this path, we need to understand that proper management is a must. Unfortunately, a majority of woodland landowners are not using professional forestry assistance for managing or selling their timber. There is a need to understand how forests work and how to keep them healthy. 80% of our forests in Illinois are owned by private entities and private individuals. And therefore, for those individuals to implement forest management practices, they must have an ecological, sociological, and even an economical benefit for them to ensure that they maintain those practices throughout their lifespan. Forest Management Plan is basically a document prepared by a professional forester for a landowner. It addresses the landowner's goals and objectives to the property. Then it is an inventory of the forest resources with it, along with an assessment of those resources. And then finally it produces a series of practices for that landowner to implement in order to achieve those goals and objectives. Professional consulting foresters are basically well-trained specialists. They can help you realize your management goals and objectives and then also maximize the forest values, health, and potential. As you just heard, like anything you want to accomplish, it's best to have a good plan to follow. 
A plan can save you time, money, and heartache. Still not sure what a forester and a forest management plan can do for you? Let's take a closer look. First, your forester will help you determine your goals and objectives addressed in the plan. The forester conducts an inventory and evaluates your resources and formulates a schedule of needed activities. Next, you will implement these activities and monitor progress toward meeting your intended goals. For a fee, consulting foresters are also available to assist you with carrying out the activities outlined in your plan. It's a good idea to review your plan annually and update it every 10 years or so when it becomes necessary to address any changes in your goals. The understore is extremely important for the sense that forests are one of our most valuable renewable resources that we have. And one of the major components of forest resource management is the renewal of a new forest. And the understory serves as that biodiversity bank for wildlife, but not only wildlife, but also for the next generation of forests that can be managed in the future. For more information on technical or financial resources to protect your forest, contact your local Natural Resources Conservation Service or Soil and Water Conservation District offices. You can contact an Illinois district forester or visit with members of forestry organizations also. Just remember, with proper sustainable planning and management of this vital resource, we can all enjoy the many benefits of a healthy and sustainably managed forest, the birds, the wildlife, and understory. This really tells the tale of the ever-changing story.